What's up, everybody? We're back. Sorry, I've been playing with a bunch of settings and all that kind of jazz. Uh, checking out frame generation and all that cool stuff on this new 7600. So, now we're just using image sharpening and anti-lag. Alright. Uh, we're going to play totally classic. Totally classic hazard. Uh, commando, explosives. That's what we're doing. Um, I didn't get any explosives, so we're just going to use uh, ease for the first one. We're going to take things that give us explosives anyway. Because we don't care. Whether the game wants to or not, we're going to go explosive. So, there we are. So I was trying to record while I was playing with settings. And I messed it up because the... Uh, it was either the super resolution or the frame generation was causing little hiccups while I was playing. I, it, I'm not ticked off about it. This game does not need frame generation or super resolution. It runs fantastic. Just at 1080p ultra settings, so I don't got to worry about it. Uh, but what I was doing was I was talking about just me in this game. What have I... I've been playing for over 100 hours now. I've beat the game with every class, uh, or beat the game on Guardian 4 with every class, uh, and stuff like that. I guess we're going Thumper, because that's all it's going to give me. All right. Um, so if I was to do a tier list, you know, I am not the kind of YouTuber who goes and makes tier lists and, you know, does all the clickbaity stuff and all that kind of jazz. So I'm obviously not going to do that. I'm going to reroll. Uh, mini missiles, give me those. Once again, if you're playing commando and you're not using mini missiles, I don't know why you're playing commando. Uh, you don't make no sense to me. I'd like a, I'd like a torpedo launcher. That would be truly classic me. Um, we're actually gonna take that. Uh, what do I have on this? Oh, it's fine. It's just a green. I don't care about it. Uh, Class-wise, I'm going to tell you right now, the one that I had the absolute worst experience with was Recon. Uh, I don't... He doesn't have enough synergy for me. Uh, he doesn't have enough varied playstyles. Like, I like... I like to feel like my... My capabilities are complemented by the class that I'm playing. And Recon was absolutely abysmal. It took me, I'd say, easily, conservatively, a uh, hundred times of playing Recon through for it to actually, for me to actually win. Uh, I didn't like that class at all. However, I have seen people do quite well with it. So, you know, it's probably more a me problem than anything else. But I can say that. Like, if you're not going to be using daggers, then there's no reason to play the recon. He just doesn't synergize with much else. And it's like, if... My initial thoughts were, well, I should do, like, a close-range optimized kind of thing. Well, the problem is, is that if you're going to do close-range, you're probably not going to do more damage than you would with a... Uh, than you would by using the... Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Uh... You probably wouldn't, you know, why use anything other than the knife at that point? An overslash doesn't make any sense to me. But the big thing that ticked me off is the fact that you can still be hit while you're blinking. That, that torqued me the wrong way because I'm an old school World of Warcraft uh, mage, man. And I, that ain't a blink. That's a dash, man. That's what that is. It is most certainly not a blink. So, I just got to put that one out there. Oh, I wanted Lucky. Darn it. I want Big Mag and Lucky. That'd be super cool. So, let's just go until I get Lucky again. Oh, get Lucky. <laughs> lucky? Quick load? 
Come on. Come on, give it to me. Don't worry, I'm not going to sit here and do this all day. Big thank you, Lucky. Yeah. Here we go. And I've already got mini missiles and firework generator. We're sitting pretty. For a classic either build. Uh, I do need baby boom, though. You can just be nice to me for a little bit, game. Uh, S tier? S tier would be Commando and Engineer. Both of these are absolutely amazing. Uh, B tier? I would put uh, both Ranger and Elementalist. Uh, I did recently find out that you can run Elementalist pretty much as just like an elemental focused commando, which is really cool. I, I like that. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I was trying to get you guys a, a video of that, uh, but I realized it's really just two things. You, you get erratic bolts, which is one of the abilities that he can have, and you get sticky grenades. And you get all of their little doohickeys that go with them. So the grenade generator and all that kind of stuff, and he's pretty much just like a rainbow commando who just has explosions and crazy stuff that he does with elements and it's really kind of cool I like it a lot but unfortunately I kept failing I kept going a little bit too far out of the box is what was going on and the synergy isn't quite as good as the commando hence why I would put him in B tier The Ranger has amazing abilities, but they're just a little harder to use than it is with a Commando. Hence why I'd say, you know, well, I, I put them in S and B. I, that should be A tier. Actually, no. I think I would go Ranger in A tier, and then I would go Elementalist B. And then I don't really feel comfortable even making a call on Recon because I'm just obviously not very good with him. Oh, yep, let's fly through the laser. That's a good idea. Anybody else want to come over and fly through the laser with me? Auto crate on my explosives. Um, stapler? Sure, let's take the stapler. As for weapons, hmm. If I was to do a tier list of weapons in this game, I would put dual Uzis and probably test the rifle in the uh, in the worst category. I can say that. Uh, most of the marksman rifles would be in low tiers because they just don't have the DPS output that's required. Uh, what ends up happening after you've played this long enough is you do, it's it's painfully obvious that the uh, that bosses aren't a problem. What you want to be doing in the case of Iris is you want to kill Iris before uh, it has a chance to use its beam shields or its beam walls. That's really the whole entire deal. Its first phase is kind of a cakewalk. You just stay out of the way. Stay up on the walls as much as you can. Uh, should I go Robo Zerker or should I go Tempo Shot? Old school me would have gone Robo Zerker, so... Even though I know Tempo Shot would actually be a little bit better for a build like this. But Robo Zerker opens up the uh, Robo Zerker armor, which is also exceptional. Um, S tier, uh, Mammoth Minigun, if you can use it. Uh, it's not very good at fighting whole entire mobs of enemies, and it is just absolutely fantastic at wrecking stuff. The best advice I can give anybody who plays this game who might be 
you know, in some way or another struggling to win on, like, Guardian 4, or maybe you're still down there, you know, in, like, Standard or something, and you're just having a hard time keeping up, is... Figure out the build you want to use, and go for that no matter what. And if it doesn't give you the stuff, well, it didn't give you this stuff. That's what I would say. Like, you're watching me do it right now. I'm going for explosives. You know, if it didn't give me this torpedo rifle, I would still be waiting, and I would still be picking things that give me explosive damage. You know what I mean? So come up with a plan and just stick to it. And if you get the stuff you need, you'll end up being OP. If you don't, then you won't. You want to go fully fully burn damage? Then just go whole hog into burn damage. Just understand that when it comes to things like Iris, it's all about the DPS and the speed at which you can do that DPS. You know, yeah, you, sure, you can do huge chunks of damage with a lot of different weapons, and you can beat this game with pretty much anything. But... If you're wanting to increase your possibilities of winning, then yeah, you need super high DPS. Because even when you're in massive, like, awesome, super awesome, you know, or, like, even the Guardian. I didn't put the Guardian on that list. I don't know where I would put the Guardian. He's alright. There's nothing wrong with him. I just don't think about him because I rarely use him anymore. Hmm. Yeah, you want extreme levels of DPS as fast as humanly possible so you can kill her, like, hopefully before she puts out the beam walls. But at least, like, after one. Dang, I'm kind of clipping. Sorry, I turned it down. Whoa! I was messing with my audio. Oh, you're going to try to back me into the thing? Yeah, you're not gonna. Diggy Mole will usually drop his nades and then move to another spot where he will immediately try to push you into him with the, the his little launched ball things. Which he failed to do just this time, so... See how he dropped these and then he went over there? That's what I mean. Uh, and... Old school me, it's all about the fire, man. It's all about fire. Cryo's fun and all. It's really, really cool to run with super high DPS builds and stuff, but fire is magic. Oh, is it better? Not good enough. Not good enough. The reason I say that is because the greens on the torpedo rifle actually help out a lot. Having those extra rounds in the mag, uh, increase explosion radius, all that kind of stuff. I could get like fork and lucky if I switched and I would get bullet hail, but I'm not interested in it. This big mag lucky is a really good build for this. And we just got hot dog and we got mushroom. So we are pretty good let's let's lottery luke oh i forgot i was meaning to not do lottery luke because i need to get more energy cells but i've already started so let's just do it oh good a thing i'm never gonna use nice explosion and fire exactly what i'm doing so um weapon magazine size would be good but I'm really trying to bait out... There we go. Some of the other stuff. I need rerolls. How could you? I know, I love that you gave me those energy cells, but... At the same time... I've got to avoid that and immediately go after the laser. Lasers are priorities. The entire thing in this game. Lasers and then elites. And then goliaths. Kill all of the guys first. Don't worry about the mini bosses. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Just learn their moves. Learn the moves of the bosses and the mini bosses and of the Goliaths and stuff. Deal with all the little guys first and then kill them. 
Because once you learn their moves, it can't hurt you anymore, which is great. Well, I mean, there's always a possibility that you run into something, but... If you were to play flawlessly, they would never hit you, so... Come on, I need baby boom, man. Give me, give me baby boom. Do it. Explosive Commando is just absolutely fantastic. Build fully explosive. You'll get elements and all that kind of stuff. Whatever you want to do, it's all fine. But Explosive Commando, that's where it's at. You don't build for the elemental damage, just let the burn do its job. Obviously get things, like you saw me get toaster, and you saw me get uh, hot dog. Get stuff like that, but don't. You don't gotta take elemental damage increases. With an explosive build, you always want to take... Uh, you always want to be taking black powder, because it's just all around better than all of the other damage increases because it gives you damage and range. Unlike just raw 10% damage, damage and range can even benefit, can benefit even more. Not just for the fact that it can hit multiple people, but it can mean that other explosions that you have can hit that same target as well. So, there you go. Um, I could do Retaliation for Robo Zerker. I think I'm gonna, because I don't really need more. I have Big Mag, so. And we're obviously going to take Flask, because Flask is awesome. This is another one. I've been trying really hard to get a playthrough with this, but... All for not. Mantis crossbow, pretty cool. It's hard. That's all I'm going to say, is it's kind of hard. But it is really cool. So, if you want to, if you want to challenge. I still can't believe I won with the, with the cannon, the... The buffalo cannon. It's just hilarious to me. I don't even remember if I did, actually. I gotta watch my video again. That reminds me, I need Wild Burster, too. Because I have... I'm in an explosive build. I should have thought of that earlier, but I didn't. Thought I heard something next to me. Gosh, this feels good to go back to a good, solid build. Not be doing just ridiculousness like I was. Oh, that thing I got that makes it so that I mark people when I... It bonk them. It did something. You all saw it. I use things. How about I not die? Let's go back up here. Oh, I still have tons of health. I thought I took a lot more damage. Oh yeah, I got flask. I can come down here and get this. Easy. Easy good build. That guy's got to go. Oh, yeah. I gotta use my own advice. There we go. Kill the little dude. 
Baby boom. Oh, of course. Of course it gives me. You want baby boom or you want chromatic powder? Or top ammo? Give me the choice of all of the good things. Baby boom is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It's a must-have on an explosive build. I could really use another uh, black powder, though. I don't want any of this. Get out of here. Whoa. Those dudes, too. Those guys can end a run real quick. Uh, more so the purple spheres, but the free spheres don't, aren't very good either. The purple spheres will stun you, and stuns can end a run, for sure. Oh, yep, I'm taking that. Means I gotta get fire rate, but that's okay. I'm a commando, so I do get some of my fire rate back from just killing people. It's a good class. Well designed. Give me all of your health. Now let's kill these dudes and see if I get assassinated by one of these stupid little teleporting ninja guys. Those guys. There's another one. Got him. Oh yeah, we got this. We got this in the bag. I'm not in here with an underpowered Tesla rifle. Imagine that. to me i've seen the predator is that a energy cell no it's a bandito gun okay can i have some more cool stuff maybe yeah we'll take this i don't usually take that to be honest uh, i would love to take this but i have learned my lesson if you don't already have the armor i like robo zerker how much does robo zerker give me 16 percent Yes, I am going to take it. Because when I take damage, it'll give me 100% auto crit and I'll get 16% armor. So I'll pretty much just totally bypass the negative effect of it. Everybody gets to explode. Is something else good? There we go. What is this? Oh. Oh, he punched me. What a jerk. How dare you. No, no, no. Control the engagement. I do want this health, though. Can I catch the ninjas? That's the question. There's one. Oh, never mind. The dude trying to punch me. Yep. 
Yeah, we're good. Nice try, Chief. I see you over there. If it bleeds, we can kill it. I mean, not that robots bleed, but you know. Eighties and nineties movie references. If you don't like them, you're in the wrong place. What am I doing? Oh, jeez. We got over here, Kune. All right, Judge Ball, let's go. Black powder. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Dang it. I really wanted another black powder. And now it's of course never going to show it to me ever again. Because that's just how this game works. There's some fire rate. We got some fire rate back. We'll take this too. Uh, and this. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's go. Now we get to hear a bunch more crits. Hi, everybody. Bye, everybody. Yeah, come on over here. Let's fight over here. What you got for me? Anything good? I mean, yeah, there's plenty of stuff good here, but... Oh, comma cannon! Oh. Just scared the daylights out of me. Oh, jeez, that's everybody! I mean, I totally knew they were there. I definitely was paying attention to my mini-map. There's no way I would miss that. Be thinking about something else and doing something else and immediately run into everything trying to kill me. Oops. Wasted my rocket. If you could not light me on fire, I would really appreciate it. Um, let's not die. Let's not. Jeez. Ah, uh, yeah, let's take shorty prototype. Even though, with how much damage I just took, I probably should have taken repair. 
Reparo Fury. You didn't have another thing down here? What the heck kind of crap is that? Now, I know from experience to not jump over this fence, which I just jumped over. Damn it, I was trying to land on top of it. Look all cool. That's just, uh, you know, the story of my life, though. Try to look cool and fail miserably. Hi, you gonna run up here? Thank you for your health. I appreciate it. Now I have to kill all of your friends. I heard you back here. What? Get out of here. Give me your health. Was that? Oh, it was a mantis crossbow. Okay. Cool. Something I can't see is casting stuff on me. Awesome. Oh, never mind. I guess I just didn't see it. I still, oh, I still got the red. Red one must be on the other side of this guy up here. Bye. Oh, geez, there's stuff right here. Oh, crap. Oh, man. Let's just engage stuff from halfway across the map die in the process get all my health back and that is once again why you take thermos really want all the problems out of there so i can take this guy's health here we go that. Don't shoot me. Okay, now. Um, I don't have any rerolls. That sucks. Will, uh... We'll take the critical damage. This is good. It'll synergize with everything else I got going on with the armor and the auto crit. Having more energy cells would be good too. I don't want any of this. Yeah, I don't need any of that. I thought I forgot about you, didn't you? Aha. There's also the red area that I haven't gone to. So it must be, yeah, it's right here. Uh, we'll take some more armor. User. I really should have a better one. A better torpedo rifle by now, but... You know. Or like a purple pulsar rifle. That, that would be great. You know, I'd like that. Oh, there's something over here. What do we got? Hello? More XP. I require all of your XP. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your donations. I appreciate it. Where's the exit? Oh, hi. Hey. What are you doing down here? Oh, it's over that way. Okay. So let's go up here. No, straight this way, alright.
I took my sweet time in there, man. I don't know what I was doing. And a purple torpedo rifle. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. I'm probably going to waste all of my stuff on trying to reroll this. To be honest. Mega Boom and Lucky. I'll deal with that. Uh, what else did we get? Cadence. Quick load. Thick. Okay. Sounds good to me. That's close enough. I really wish I had big, big mag, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I get more fire rate when I when I get 100% auto crits. That is pretty cool. I'm on fire, which isn't very nice, but you know. No lasers. We talked about this. Nice try. Kind of want to go that way, but I'm already all the way over here, so... This means I'm going to have to track all the way back across this. How dare you blow up on me? You're mean. You're the meanest little exploder dude that I know. No lasers. What is that? Oh, it's a dude in the floor. things. I collected all of the Pokemans. So up there is the end of the level. So we'll go this way. Or not, not all the way this way. I messed up. Oh geez. I jumped over a wall again like an idiot. Yeah, buddy. More damage, more range. You don't get out of here. You don't get a free ride. Fine, I'll kill all of these guys over here then. In a fit of rage. I messed around with the mine launcher. Um, I'll be honest, I didn't give it the time it deserved. I'm sure it's actually pretty cool, but I just didn't want to have to be hitting right click to activate it. So I, there it is. Is that actually a guy over here? Or is it just a thing in the floor? What's going on here? Hello? Oh yeah, it's a thing on the floor. I should have known it wasn't moving. That is exactly what I was trying to avoid by not jumping in there. What's this? John Carcabus.
Cool. I'm not taking it, but that is pretty cool. Fantastic Sheriff's Carbine. So we gotta go back to the end area. Try not to get wrecked by some one of those. I just saw oh no, it's not one. It's not one of them. So what do we got today? Uncle Jim? Nope. Needle Royale. Alright. Let's go. We'll go for this. Make sure that our shorty explosions are big enough to uh, overlap over each other. I really want to get a playthrough of these too. If you haven't tried one of these, they are actually kind of cool. I guess I could take this. It's like, not like this is going to help me at all, so I'm just not even going to take it. Missed him. Um, yeah, we'll take another quick trigger. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. No. 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 I don't actually need Mega Boom. Let's reroll for a lucky. Lucky in fragments. Nice. Let's do this.
Bye. Now, can we kill her before the beam walls come in? That's the main question now. Oh, I got hit by that. Dead. Just like that. That's what happens when I go back to the classic builds that I was telling people to use. And uh, some of the first builds that I used to win the game. So... fire you don't build for fire other than items uh, and then you're gonna build uh, black powder you get as many as you can quick trigger so we got two black powders two quick triggers sharpened wits to increase some critical damage then we've got mini missiles firework gender pyro firework uh, robo zerker abs of steel retaliation baby boom with Lucky Powder, and we've got Wild Burster with Shorty Explosion Radius. Uh, in here, we're going with uh, non-elemental damage, uh, Fountain Pen, Ugly, Ugly Tie, Stapler, Toaster, Rice Cooker, a uh, combination of Rice Cooker and Thermos Flask, another one that I've recommended in the past, Tonic Mushroom, Hot Dog, 3D Glasses, uh, just because it gave it to me. Uh, then we've got Candle, we've got Hourglass, Viking Helmet, Egg. The only reason I took Egg was because I already had this, Abs of Steel. So every time I took damage, I would immediately uh, undo the reduction in armor. See? Reduces armor by 12. I take damage, I get 16% armor back, uh, which is really good. So... Uh, then, coffee mug, monocle, frog prince, lemon, arm, uh, carnival mask to give me even more armor. Uh, then, bowl, perfume bottle, and then this I picked up just because. So, there you go. I mean, the majority of this run was all done with a blue torpedo rifle that I got pretty early in the game. So... There you go. That's what it is. Uh, it wasn't the greatest time, I don't think. What was my time? 35 minutes? Yeah, that's about average. A little slow. Uh, which goes to show you I'm a little tired. Uh, my max time? Or my best time on Guardian 4? Was something ridiculous. Yeah, 29... 29 minutes. I thought I got down to 27, but it's 29 minutes. Uh, that was a fast run. Really fast run. So, uh, for me, that is. There's other people who have been doing faster than me. Way faster than me. So, go check them out on YouTube, too. Because I've seen their stuff as well. So, anywho, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Share me with your friends. Uh, and if you want to help out the channel, you can hit up my donation links in the description below. And uh, may the boombox bot forever keep dancing. Peace. I'll see you on the next one.